Hello YouTube and welcome to another Splunk tutorial. So in this video I will show you how to install and integrate a Splunk Universal Forwarder on a Windows machine. So are you ready? Let's get started. So as you have seen uh, on my last video I showed you how to configure integrate Universal Forwarder on a Linux machine. But this time we will do the same actually, but in a Windows host. Okay. So first thing first, we have to download the Universal Forwarder for our Windows host. Okay. So for that you go to the Splunk uh, website. It's Splunk.com actually. Products. Then you go to Free Trials Downloads. Okay. Of course you have to create a free account in order to download actually this universal forwarder from Splunk, okay? And you scroll down till you found the section universal forwarder, okay? So as you can see here. <coughs> then you click on get my free download, okay? Then you choose the universal forwarder corresponding to your architecture so me i'm using actually windows uh, 64 bit so i have to download actually this uh, msi file okay so as you can see it's about 118 megabytes okay so me i already download this file and now we have to install this universal forwarder on my windows machine so let's move on to our Windows host in order to install it, okay? So this is our Windows 10 host and as you can see here on my desktop I have the Splunk Universal Forwarder that I have previously downloaded from the Splunk website. So in order to configure it you have first to install it. So let's install. So I double click on this file here and I will get this uh, wizard that we have to follow. So of course here you have to view the license agreement but the most important thing is you have to check this box to accept the license agreement okay otherwise you will not be able to proceed okay so here it gives me the default installation options so I will keep with the default here okay and here we have two options. We can use the Universal Forwarder with in premises Splunk Enterprise instance, or we can also use a Splunk Cloud instance. But as you may know, we have already installed our Splunk server on a Linux machine. So, of course, here we have to choose on premises because we have actually our Splunk Enterprise installed on our local actually uh, server on a Linux box okay so let's go next then here you have to provide credentials for your admin account so you can use it. this is just for the universal forwarder so you can give it whatever username you want but me I will use the same and here I can specify a password okay I have to confirm it here we go and I will hit next the next step is actually we have to provide here the host name or IP address of deployment server so actually deployment server is uh, important if you have installed uh, your uh, Splunk server on multiple hosts but we we have only one host which is Linux box where we have installed actually our Splunk server. So this option is optional because actually we don't have any deployment server. Okay, so we proceed with next. And this is the most important step. Here you have to provide the receiver indexer, which is actually our Splunk Enterprise server, which is our machine Linux. So here I have to provide its IP address so for me it's 192.168.1.3 and of course we have configured the default port 
for receiving in Dexter which is 9997 so I will show you on Splunk where we have configured this port actually so let's go actually to Splunk server to the web interface and see where we have configured this port so if I go back actually to my Splunk here so this is our Splunk server so as you can see the IP address is the same that we have configured 192.168.1.3 so let me log on with my credentials and in order to see this receiving port you have to go to your actually settings okay then uh, forwarding and receiving option here you can see okay so here you have two sections forward data and receive data and this is where we have configured our receiving port so if I click on this link here you will see that I have already configured this listen port 9997 so this is very important if you don't configure this port here or if you don't have any receiving data actually port you can create one just click on this uh, button here you are receiving a port and here you will enter actually the 9997 so me I already done that okay so this is so let me go back so this is actually this port here that we have configured so if you are using a different port you must specify it here but here we will keep with the default which is 9997 so we'll go to next and you install so this is all what you have to do in order to configure actually this Planck universal forwarder on a Windows host okay So now the installation is complete so we are done with our host okay so what is the purpose of all that so the purpose is to send windows logs to our splunk server so now we have to go back to our splunk server in order to configure the windows logs that we want to receive actually uh, data from so let me finish with this wizard and i will switch now to our splunk interface okay so this is our Splunk interface so in order to ingest Windows logs you actually have to select settings then add data as you can see here okay so I will click on this link and here I will skip the tour And you see here that we have some options we can get data with the following method we can actually upload files to our Splunk server we can monitor files and we can forward this option here data from Splunk forwarder okay so this is the option that we have actually to choose because we have already installed Splunk forwarder on our Windows host so let me click on this uh, option here okay and normally you will actually get some uh, Splunk here forwarder you have to select the forwarder okay so here you can see that we don't have any forwarder so sometimes it will take a little bit in order to show up in our interface okay Et voilà as you can see now our windows host has appeared okay you can also check this client here if you go to actually settings forwarder management okay and here you can see that we have our uh, windows client here one and the host name is desktop 3 ft 6 vrn okay so let's go back to our uh, data forward 
in order to configure actually the Windows log that we want to monitor, okay? So as you can see here, the first step is actually to select the server class, okay? So I'll select this Windows desktop host and I will give it a name, for example, Windows 10. And that's all. You can proceed now with the next button, okay? So as you can see here, we have to select, actually to select the source. So we want to collect a local event log. So I will choose here the first option, local event logs, okay? So here it will show me the available items. So we have actually application, forward event, security, setup, ser system. So these logs actually are the same that are set up on Windows actually hosts. So if I go to my Windows machine here, okay, and if I go actually right click on this PC and go to manage, I will show you where the logs are. So here you can see that we have some uh, event viewer here. And if you go to Windows logs, you can see the different sections corresponding to the logs so there is application security setup system forward events okay so this is the logs that we will actually set up in order to send to our splunk server okay so let's go back to our splunk here and see how we can configure them so here you have to select the event logs okay so i can just simply add them all so you can see here that they have been uh, selected so I will go next here we have option for input settings so here we have to create an index so of course we can uh, keep the default one which is our main but let's create another index specially for our Windows hosts as we did last time we have configured index called Linux index for our Linux machine here let's create another index for our Windows host so I will just call it Windows 10 index for example so this is uh, very important for the term of management because if you have multiple users that actually access your Splunk server, you can specify which user and which index it can see. So for example, you can configure an administrator to look just for Windows indexes and another administrator that will just look for Linux uh, indexes, okay? So here I will just give it random name Windows 10 index. So I will keep with the default options and I will save that. Okay. Then we have a review here. So this is just a review of the forwarder. We have the input logs and we can submit that. And now we can start searching. Okay. So if I click on this uh, button here, we can start searching. As you can see, Splunk has uh, selected our index here in the search input box, okay? And let's click on the search here in order to search for the events. And here we go, you can see now that I get all the events for our Windows host, okay? So this is the list of our indexes, okay? And here for the source type, you can see that we have actually the values so we have some uh, event log from application system and setup we have the count of the percentage okay and of course we can use the search uh, input box in order to look for a specific event using what we call event log okay so you can see how easy it is to configure actually universal forwarder in order to send logs to our Splunk server, okay? So that was just a brief video to show you how to install and integrate Universal 
forwarder Splunk Universal Forwarder on a Windows host. As always, I hope it has been informative for you and I want to thank you for viewing. Bye-bye.